Mike Pelser with MPX Solutions. We're working with uh, Madison County Sheriff's Department and uh, Madison County EMA Police and Fire Communication Tower. We're building a 400 foot tower here this morning. Um, we have 260 foot stood with the crane. We have a uh, helicopter coming. As soon as the fog lifts, the helicopter will be here. We're going to stack uh, 100 and, uh, 140 feet with a helicopter. This is the top 40 foot section right here. The guys are getting the lights ready, the cables ready to go up. Um, should be very interesting. Uh, it was uh, cheaper to do it with a helicopter than it was to do with a crane if you can believe that or not and uh, the guys from Midwest helicopter out of Chicago uh, gonna do us a real good job and hopefully we'll have some good video here today the top up there that's where they're going at. See what this one does, it should be the same. Yeah. If this one does the same, then we will get this one hooked up and on your way down. If it's... I'll tell one of the guys radio you and have you look at one real quick. Okay. Up. Since all the cable trays have to have bolts in them, make sure that the cable trays wrenches. Extra bolts, extra hardware, black tape, and the big wrench on the last pick. It all has to be fastened on that last pick. Okay? Good. Get in our way, because that bag's gonna be heavy. Try to put it in more than one bag if you could. Like the tape in one bag, and then all. Down. You can put it a section down, or the top is already taped. as long as you have enough bolt, bags to get to the last bolt up there, that's fine. But yeah, let's just make sure that it's it's picked up there. Yeah. There's extra bags in my truck if you need more bags. As I bring the tower in, anytime I make a movement, the longer the piece is, the more it kind of kicks around at the bottom. So don't be afraid if you see the bottom kind of just juking around a little bit. Piece, right? yeah. yeah, so this one will probably be the most, but just be aware of that. Six feet. Oh, we got you for that. Any questions for me? Yeah, you don't lift our asses up there set us all down. I don't know. I knew that was coming. Well, that being said, too, I guess I should go over that. Uh, for some reason, if there's a medical emergency or, say, a storm pops up, and it's at a point where you guys won't be able to get off the tower. That's our worst case scenario. We can evacuate guys from the tower with our cable. That's the absolute aim. We've determined it's an emergency situation. So that take us emergency right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had to do it once, and that was in a 700 foot tower, and the guys are at the top, and the storm popped up. So can't get down that fast. Um, this one here, we was in this yesterday. We got down pretty quick right before the lighting hit, so we're good. Okay. I think we can make it. This is only 400 foot. So. Okay. <laughs> Nice to meet you too. That's it, pretty basic, just it's heavy. <laughs> what kind of cable is it hanging off of? We have a 100 foot Kevlar line. Kevlar line, so it's not steel, so you don't have to worry about getting beat up by that. Right. Good. Good. And that's all done by you, right? We don't have to worry about really messing with any of that. Well, no, the only time you would ever really, well, when we, guys out here on the ground will have to hook this up, but the only time you would have to mess with it up on the tower is if the power cable came undone or we okay. had a problem with one of our connections. But we're, we check them before every, every go. Here.
helicopter, uh, also the pilot for today's lift here in uh, Anderson, Indiana. Uh, we're here today just to finish up the uh, tower they got going on here. Um, it was built up to about 280 feet and uh, we're going to go ahead and finish it up, bring it close to about 400 feet. Um, doing about six lifts, about 20 foot each. Um, up on the tower I have one of my guys right now who's a certified climber and also one of our crew chiefs here at the Midwest. Uh, he's giving me all the directions up there and then down here on the ground I got uh, my other crew chief, he's uh, kind of coordinating everything down here in the ground. Um, Midwest has been around for almost 50 years. We're one of the very few heavy lift helicopter companies uh, east of the Mississippi. And really one of the few ones that actually do tower work like this. And, uh, we do towers all over the country uh, from changing out antennas to building them uh, or demoing towers. So uh, typically we do rooftop units, air conditioning units, but uh, we get into specialized jobs like this just because uh, this is what we've been doing. Um, I've been with the company since 2002 and been flying with them though since 2007. 